the two of swords that have popped out. Keep that in mind. I think we're going to have a two of swords kind of day. Let's have a look. Two of Swords came out. Let's have a look at Megzi. Don't mind me if I'm not reading the chat. It's um, focusing on cards and I'm a bit... <laughs> Can't multifunction, you know? Megzi. Is the poop hitting the fan with Megzi? Knight of Wands. The Megzi is a Leo, which is a fire sign, which relate to the Suite of Wands. The Knight of Wands is Mr. Ego waving it all around, showing off. She is chomping at the bit to get something started, get her name out there. She basically wants to tick us all off and correct the record, tell us off a wrong thing. She'll probably be reporting tweets left, right and centre. She is ready to go about something eight of cups in reverse she is ready to go and she wants to go she wants to walk away from some some stuff but she can't interesting the magician in reverse and the two of wands underneath there's that doorway and the three of pentacles leaving the situation this something happened this week to Megzi, and I'm sure we'll find out in the future, but it involves her career and it involves work. Um, she's not having the best of weeks, put it that way. We have the magician in reverse, what but above the situation, and we have got the two of wands underneath. So she's trying to make something happen. She is really trying to make something happen. The magician in reverse above. Now, this can be dark magic, dark will, not being able to pull things all together, not being you to use every skill you've got on the table. Um, but overall, when it is in reverse, the magician, it's often to do with dark energy. I think you can see that Harry and Megzi's energy work, Harry and Megzi's spell work, Harry and Megzi's everything has not paid off. It won't pay off. It's one of those, it's, they thought they were so powerful at the start and they're kind of not used to having that kind of clout anymore. <laughs> what's on her mind expect something around tomorrow with um catherine they think their looks changing they really do they think their looks changing and she's got the six of wands coming up so they might get something there might be some showing off. There might be some crowing going on. What's she on her mind at the minute? We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, Catherine is a Capricorn, which is an Earth sign. The Earth signs relate to the Pentacles in Tower. The Nine of Wands is boundaries. And she's going to say, oh, my boundaries. Everybody crossed my boundaries. People didn't respect us. People didn't look after us. Everybody's always coming for us. But it's Catherine's fault. Everything is Catherine's fault. Catherine and William's fault. The Wheel of Fortune there and the protection. Security. That security guard, Kronk. <laughs> What's going to happen to Kronk if they get taxpayer-funded security? Will they have to just get what the state gives them? Will Kronk lose his job? What's going to happen?
she thinks she wants their look to change. She can't change her look because you've got the magician in reverse there. What they're hoping for is the Wheel of Fortune. The magician above the situation, what we're seeing is a result of their energy, what they throw out there, what they sit and do in Monty Shit Show. It's their energy. They've got bad energy. They've hexed themselves. I've been saying it for ages. They are self-hexing. Um, everything they do do, they send out to get at other people. They come from a place of hatred. They come from a place of thinking they're more worthy than somebody. So that person, ego, complete ego. Ego gets you nowhere. Let's see how Dory is getting on this week. Is Dory even with them? <laughs> she's, she's somewhere where there's a lot of emotions and she doesn't understand why everybody's so... <laughs> She just doesn't get why everybody is so dramatic. Yeah. Everybody's so dramatic. What's underneath her? The tower in reverse. Doria is sat just watching it all fall around. Absolutely. She doesn't understand why everybody is so up in arms. And when I say everybody, I mean Megzi and Harry, if Harry's even there. But, yeah, she doesn't understand why they're so up in arms, why they're so all over the place. What is going on? Because, Megzi, you have got, you have got the children. The four of ones an unhappy marriage, an unhappy f home life. Ten of Pentacles, Doria blames all of the royal family, to be honest. Um, she, Queen of Wands is in reverse. Megzi is, of course, a Leo, so she would refer to Wands because it's fire sign. Um. I think she wants her daughter to shut up, to be honest. The tower underneath her here. It's karmic. You've done it to yourself. She doesn't understand. Dory is like, I don't understand why is this all this why is everyone being so hyperbolic? She really doesn't care, like she's not interested, even though everything's falling down around her and what's driving the situation is a tower moment. She blames the royal family, Ten of Pentacles, a rich, wealthy family, but it's in reverse, so she thinks negatively of them. Um, the lovers surrounding her, she just wants Harry and Megzi just to go a kind of a way. So I think Meghan and Harry are around Doria. She doesn't know, understand what all the drama is because you've got the kids. You've got the legacy. Why is everybody fussing? You've got the you've got the you've got the claim to fame. Hmm. Stephanie, I see your question. We will do that one. We'll do that one next. 
I think they're both looking. I think MI5, from when I did the reading the other day, I think MI5 are looking at them both separately. I think or MI6, whoever the intelligence services are looking at them both separately. I think up to about a week or so ago, they just kind of must bunched them both together. But now they are starting to look at them as individuals rather than just kind of focus on one person. They're focusing on both, if you know what I mean. Let's see how Harry's getting on this week. What's happening to Harry at Mon in Monty Shit Show? There's the tower. There's the seven of cups. He's getting gaslight. So the tower and the knight of coins in reverse above. Of course, he is a coin sign underneath. He still thinks this looks changing, guys. The wheel of fortune underneath. He does think he does see good omens on this, even though he's going through a tower situation. He's thinking his luck's got to change soon. The Seven of Cups is in reverse. Didn't he say that his mother was with him now and guiding him? Knight of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Four of Swords, Legacy. Ten of Wands, a Burden. What's surrounding him, Leo, <laughs> Megan? What he wants and he's hoping for, he's hoping for a doorway. He wants the doorway, which is interesting to me. Um, the Four of Swords, he really is relying on legacy. He needs the connection with the royal family, with legacy and everything he has got the ten of wands he's carried a burden for so long it's so difficult being harry um i'm the only ginger in the royal family apart from beatrice um the strength card surrounding him is of course it refers to leo so he is still still obsessed with his wife his wife isn't obsessed with him i've got to say uh -uh. But Harry is also obsessed with himself. Uh, we have got the Knight of Coins in reverse above the situation. So that shows to me that that is Harry. We have got the Knight of Swords leaving the situation. So there's issues with security there. And then we've got, we have got, of course, the Four of Swords now. That is to do, it's upright. So it is to do with legacy, taking stock the foundations that you have your, I guess, your faith, your, how you perceive your inheritance. <laughs> We're not talking touches. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's not having a good time. We have got the star in reverse there. So he feels like he's on the outside looking in when it comes to the royal family. That new Caroline age, it's a bit weird for him. Very weird for him. Interesting enough, every year is relates to a different tarot card i forget what this year is i think this year is might be the moon hang on let me have a look but next year is the star so let's have a look um tarot 2023 
yeah this is the chariot card this year which is actually as well the card of cancer so william has had an all right like yeah the mud hasn't stuck at all um that has been swung at him but next year is of course it's a major arcana fancy is attached to every year numerologically speaking um Do, 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 do. Apparently, no, it's the there's two different ones. One saying a prophetic star tarot card. The tarot lady says it's governed by the strength card. We might be waiting for Megzi to get out for 2024. Then I thought it was the star card, but I was half asleep this morning when I read it. Um, the tarot lady is saying. It's the strength card, so yeah, okay, we'll go with that. The strength card next year. It's this Leo, so we're going to get a lot more Megzi like next year. That's all I'm saying. She she does follow all of this stuff, so I've been saying she's going to come out and do something metaphysical. I'm probably going to get something next year. Do the car parkles have what? <laughs> <laughs> can you ask if meg was banned by the governess of delaware it's interesting how can we get more megsy well you're going to find out moya it's going to be like instagram and stuff probably Ugh. so next year's a strength card for the year so yeah that's going to be a lot more megsy she's going to come back and take what's been taken from her and all that stuff definitely but that's closer to the <clears throat> we'll do a big reading closer to the